The nine novices are about to get their first taste of what it's like to take part in one of the most exclusive shoots the world over. Two of them, however, will not be carrying guns. Emma de Beery was deemed unsuitable, and devout veggie Emma Hartwell has chosen not to. Alan will oversee the shoot, whilst John the vet is present to ensure any animal suffering is kept to a minimum. Walking in line is the method of hunting we're going to use today. Explain it to me. Walking in line um, from three, four, six, maybe up to eight guns, you can keep control of walking in a very straight line with dogs, normally spaniels, working, quartering the heather in front of them to try and push the birds away and then with Labradors or, or the Spaniels to retrieve them once they're shot and bring them back. And quite literally everyone is in a line equidistant from one another. Yes, we're keeping them quite tight today because it'll give um, them more chance to get shots off. Uh, normally we'd be about 40 yards apart. Okay now everybody, just keep it like that, don't we'll go. Head gamekeeper Arthur is responsible for managing the line. When you go on the bottom. For safety reasons, it's essential that no one breaks in front of it. Arthur has also insisted that each novice is accompanied by an experienced gunminder to give it sure that best shooting practice is observed. Try to pick a bird. Right. Don't shoot into the middle of them. Balaville's moorlands contain an estimated 3,000 breeding pairs of grouse, but there's no timetable as to when or where they'll make an appearance. It's feeling really, really... It's exhilarating. I haven't seen anything yet, but it's a really good mind focuser. Should have. Oh, nice. Nicely shot. Well done. Yeah, first shot. Got something happening. Good. That's good. We just heard. The first shots of the day there. Is it down? Oh, it's definitely down. And it's Jason, the chef from East Sussex, who's never shot before, never killed an animal before, and who, on his first attempt, has bagged a grouse. So, Jason, how are you yeah. feeling? I mean, very early on. It was good. It was purely instinct. So it's like, you know what you get told? It was just really quick. And there they are and shoot. And, and, and it, you did? And, and we did, yeah, yeah. Now, Anthony, we're waiting, waiting for the dog to, to bring the yes. bird back. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, if it's for the pot, you know, I'm into it and I see no problem in, in sport hunting of any variety as long as it's for a pot. I think it's a real privilege as well. It's Here great. it is. Here's your bird. Lovely. Let's take a look. Oh, oh there we go. That is your kill. Yeah, it's fantastic. Within ten minutes. Yeah, it's pretty good, isn't it? And that's a pretty bullseye as well, isn't it? Yes, Mm. Of course, we're just going to please do. I'm very much into this. The tribal Thank male you. smearing of the blood. <laughs> exactly. We that win. does it for you. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I've just got no problem with it. My heart's racing a bit, but I quite like that as well. It's excitement. Are you proud, it's Anthony? Fantastic. Uh, Jason did a fabulous job. He did absolutely everything that he should have done. So, as far as we're concerned on this date, this is perfect situation. The grass are going inside of my well, uh... Emma, you're very apprehensive yeah, about being here and you've been within close proximity of a kill. You're obviously very upset. Is it the animal or is it this entire situation? There's a great feeling of energy yeah. along this line and there's excitement in the air, isn't there? I'm not getting the energy. <laughs> it is. It's upsetting that they seem to be really enjoying killing the animal. Like, I, I don't understand that at all. Did you expect to feel this way? I did, really. I did. I thought I might be, might be able to hold on for a bit longer, but I really just can't. When actually faced with death like this, I, it, I just feel too uncomfortable. I'm sure the grass didn't want to be killed. I'm, I'm just really not enjoying this. Do you want to leave? OK. Jess, do you want to come over? OK, Jess will take you back to the lodge Thank and you. we'll see you afterwards. OK, okay thanks. All right. Yeah. OK, Emma. Thanks. Jodie, how did you feel about the kill? Emma is very upset and has had to leave. Yeah, I'm not upset at all. Um, I wanted to go and have a look at the grouse, and Jason killing the first bird has just spurred me on. I actually want to do one myself. You're a vegetarian? I don't think I'm a vegetarian anymore, really. I'm enjoying myself, actually. It's, it's a lot of fun. What about Emma's reaction? Are you surprised at how strongly? Yeah, it was quite upsetting seeing her so upset about it. That was, 
quite shocking, really. More upset by the human reaction than the death yeah, of the bird. Yeah, than the death of the bird, yeah, definitely. OK, everybody, load up the guns. OK. Right, right on we go. Grouse shooting is profitable to a Highland estate like Ballaville, and Alan can charge anything up to £20,000 for an all-in extravagant weekend of grouse shooting for 10. For Alan, it's therefore important that a healthy grouse population is maintained by his keeper, Arthur. So the grouse season is from August to December. What happens here for the rest of the year? Oh, Arthur's busy 365 days of the year just working for the grouse. I mean, there's several things he has to do. He has to manage the heather. So in the springtime, when the snow burns away, but before the grouse start nesting, he burns patches of heather all over the place. Which is what we can see when we look around, that little patchwork quilt. That's it. We try for about a 12-year rotation, if we can, and try and do small little patches next door to each other. So you've got the old heather grouse can hide from the predators and then you've got the young heather next to that where they can sneak out and have a feed. You mentioned the predators, how do you manage the predators? We can only dispose of those that are not protected by, by law and we're always happy with that. It's always wrongly um, uh, reported that, that all gamekeepers are out there persecuting all raptors. When you use the term raptor we're talking about hawks, we're talking about eagles. Eagles, peregrines, uh, we have a full range of, of birds of prey out on the hill here. Can I mention a dirty word, snares? Snares, uh, we don't use snares on the hill here. It's very difficult on an extensive area of ground to get round snares on a regular basis and check them. But there are areas in intensive rearing on, on pheasant shoots, partridge shoots, where yes, the, the keepers do have to use snares, but they check them very, very regularly to make sure that, um, that they release animals from that. And the keepers over the years, really, when you see what they've done to protect the environment out here, they shouldn't be criticised the way they are. With a cord, um... Pretty. Very exciting. Got two shots off. Missed both, unfortunately. But, uh, yeah, you've got to be very quick. Very quick. It's looking very unlikely I'll be able to provide for the team. I think we're looking at one bird, I think, for tonight's meal between nine. It's not looking good, is it? Oh, go on then. Oh, Only one shell. There was quite a few as well, wasn't there? There was a good, nice covey there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm finding it kind of arduous even walking. The gun was oh, exhausted. You're doing well. Me. You're doing well. <laughs> Come on. Nervous excitement obviously around uh, walking, waiting, and uh, everything comes into your vision, you know, you want to go for. It's a lot to think about, you know, you're trying to watch your step. And also you get really tired. I'm looking forward to getting one, to be honest. Mark Darcy, our Marine, has had a hit. He was one of the expected shooters, actually. Get in there! Great shot, Mark. Bird just rising in front of you. Took it just on the rise, just as it was getting away from you. So, Mark, you got one? Yes, finally. Um, excited? Very excited. Now, you couldn't kill a rabbit before in training. Um, you've killed a grouse today. Did you think you could do that? Having all the sk skills put to our group from these great sort of people who've been wor working alongside, it does actually help in the actual process of, of killing it because they've taught you a lot about the actual animals themselves, um, the history behind it, the fact it's quite a prestigious thing to shoot a grouse. So I think leading up to it, uh, that sort of slight apprehension has sort of dissipated slightly. And uh, up until now, yeah, um, I felt quite comfortable with it. There you go. Well done. It does feel a bit strange, actually, holding a warm bird. Um, and you've killed it. This is your bird that yeah, you've killed. Yeah, I actually don't feel that, that bad about it, actually. I thought I was going to feel really w strange about this. Uh, I didn't see this as killing it for sport either. I did enjoy it because I actually was focused on what I was doing. And you I didn't enjoy it? No, I didn't enjoy the kill. I was actually doing it because it was a means to an end. I knew it would You were here. hunting? Yeah, I was hunting for the pot. Okay, Very I want to bring Louise in here because she's quite close by. Louise, hello, 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 come here. Now, you were next to Mark. Yeah. Um, how did you feel when you heard the gun go out and you, you knew that a, a bird had come down? Um, I, did, I mean, I didn't feel as awful as I thought I would. Um, 
I don't know, standing right next to it now is maybe a different matter. But, you know, I had absolutely no instinct to pick up my own gun. I just don't seem to be in the right mindset at all. Um, Have you taken a shot yet? No, not no. at all. I've just, you know, it's been not my reaction at all. It's not been the instinct. Not your natural instinct. Yeah. Um, Do you think it's a man-woman thing? Possibly. I think there's a lot, you know, there's a whole mix of people out here, I think, you know, because I you know, want to sort of understand the issues and want to understand what it's all about and wanted to come out and see if I could feel the buzz that, you know, that people that, you know, argue on the pro-shooting lobby, you know, say that you get, and I just haven't felt that. Do you want to hold the bird? Um, uh, no, I'd, I'd, I'll decline that offer. First time that you've uh, been out in the hills and uh, got your first...